Hi guys, it's Rich, and today we're gonna to look at how to stream OpenAI's chat completions using the OpenAI API. And the benefit of this is that it means we get the responses out faster and it improves the UX for the end user. So once again, we'll start with Jupyter Notebook and we'll begin by installing the dependencies. And then we'll import the relevant modules that we're interested in. Now we wanted to do a normal chat completion is simple. We just define the model, the prompt, and possibly the temperature. And then we can assign all of that to the response variable. And we can check how long this would take by monitoring both the start time and the end time. And voila, we can see how long the response is taken and we can also see the full response object. But if we wanted to extract out the values we were interested in, we could do it like this. Now that's all so far so good and everything's standard, but how would we stream the chat completion? Well, it's simple. So we have a typical chat completion here and we want it to respond in one word. But the main difference here is that we're going to set stream equals to true. And then what we'll do is we'll loop through every value in the response stream and print it. And what we get back is several response objects and each object consists of a delta. And actually on the second object, you can see the delta contains the word Paris. And so rather than getting the entire response in a single go, you'll get a series of deltas that you need to append to one another. All right, again, so let's do another example, but this time more than one word and we'll merge the streamed output. So we'll set up another prompt with stream equal to true again. And every time a new object comes into the response, provided the delta contains content, we will append that onto the resultant string. But what we'll also do is actually print the response as it's coming out so that you can see the stream itself. But as you can see, the response stream is printing live results. And if we're to print the result stream by itself, we get this. Now we'll do one more example. So how would we get this to print maybe sentence by sentence or paragraph by paragraph? Well, the principle's the same, but all we have to do is add a bit of logic on top. So let's start with one more chat completion, but this time we'll request for a little bit more information. And rather than just having a result string, this time you can have a results array to store each paragraph. And so similar concept to before, provided that Delta contains the content, we will append this onto the result string. But we know that a paragraph is complete when there's either a new line or there's no more content to be produced. And so what we'll do is we'll try and capture when Delta either has a new line or when Delta has no more content. In which case we can append the result to the array, print the result to the console and then clear that result string. And voila. And with that, we should officially have working code. And if we hit run, what we'll see are the results coming out paragraph by paragraph. Success. So when we check this at the end, the result string should be empty because we've cleared it out and the results array should be an array of paragraphs. Hey guys, if you really enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more, then subscribe. And if there's any thoughts, comments, questions, please drop them in the comments below. And see you in the next video. Cheers.